Hi guys, in this video I am answering questions from TikTok, which in the past two and a half weeks I have somehow amassed 57,000 followers on. I put up a video saying, what do you guys want to know about Ask Me Anything, and you guys came through. So today we are getting into that. What's up guys, my name is Savannah. I teach modern hippies how to live a more healthy and natural lifestyle through mindfulness and science. Like I said, today we're answering all of your FAQ from TikTok. Before we jump right in, won't you be an absolute babe and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave a like. Okay, the first question is where do you get your singing bowls? So I currently have seven of them, one for every chakra. I'm looking into getting the quartz ones, which I will probably order from an online store so I can get the whole, the whole lot, all seven of them in a set. But um, the ones that I have now are from, I think, four different local mystic stores. So any of those like stores around your town that have lots of crystals or they have like fortune telling, that sort of stuff, that's where I get my bowls from. I think it's really important to see which bowl sings for you, which one you connect with, which one you are drawn to. So I think it's important to, at least at first, when you're if you're getting into this, if you want to get maybe only one or two bowls, to get it in person so you can actually like physically touch it and like feel it out, you know? Someone asked, can I do the sound bowls for myself? And I think what they mean is, can I get the healing benefits from the sound bowls? Yes, everything that you do with healing is based on intention and vibration. Um, I'm gonna link my blog post down here, actually two blog posts, one about how sympathetic vibrations work in terms of sound healing that just came out this week and then another one in general about what vibrations are from a scientific point of view so you can see actually how these are working and it is scientifically proven that your energy can be imprinted on something like water like waves because at the end of the day we're just what do you like to say uh oscillators Oh, harmonic oscillators? At the end of the day, we're just harmonic oscillators, which I'll link something down below and like, what the heck does that mean? Um, but we're just vibrating at a certain frequency and so are all of the objects you can see in our physical reality. So healing is just using, the sound healing essentially, is just using one object's frequency to positively impact or raise the frequency of another item yourself. and really quick about sympathetic vibrations a um, quick way that you probably know about to kind of see like okay that's what's happening is think about um, an opera singer when she hits that like final high note how the crystal and the the crystal glasses in the room will shatter because they just can't withstand the frequency that she's putting out with the sound waves the frequency of the sound waves that she's putting out with her voice so that's kind of how if you feel like a lot of people feel the throat chakra bowl here, a lot of people feel the third eye, like here. Um, I've gotten thousands of comments about how you guys are like, oh my god, how do I, why am I feeling it? It's, it's just, you're the crystal glass and the bowl that I'm playing is the opera singer. The third question is, can you post longer videos on your YouTube with the bowls? Yes, I'm going to be posting next week longer healing sessions. I'm also going to be doing live streams on TikTok every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And I'm also, when I hit 100k followers, which hopefully is soon, I'm going to be posting all seven bowls playing on Spotify and Apple Music. The fourth question is, how do I open my third eye? Also, how do I become more psychic and aware of others' energy? Thanks. So many people don't know this but everybody has the ability to become psychic everybody has the ability to tap into higher realms of consciousness um, maybe you know like clairvoyant people who can like see things and have visions this is just uh, being able to tap into a higher realm of consciousness some people naturally have this ability and some people need to learn it it's a lot harder for them but everybody can become more psychic and maybe in your life you've had an experience that was a bit like sixth sense oriented like you knew something was going to happen before it happened or you like knew that one of your family members were was in trouble without them calling you or maybe even something small where you go to pick up the phone to call someone and you see that they're already calling you the earth and 
this physical realm that we dwell in is so much more intricate than we can see just with our eyes. We are only capable of sensing what our organs allow us to sense. Touch, taste, hearing, smelling, feeling. There's a lot more going on than what we're able to see. An example of that would be the fact that we can't see infrared, but it's still there. We can't see microwaves, but they're still there. We know because we just heated up that hot pocket. <laughs> So how do you open your third eye? Um, also, I got a lot of questions on the third eye bowl, like, oh no, is my third eye open now? I'm scared. There's nothing to fear at all with any of my sound healings, any of the bowls, nothing but healing and love and higher vibrations to be had. I'm not doing witchcraft. <laughs> I'm not doing anything with the occult. Everything here is done non-denominationally and just pure energy work. So how do you open your third eye? There's a lot of, there's a lot of reasons why it takes a while because if you were to just pop it right open, I don't think you'd like what you see. And what it means to have your third eye open, which I think somebody else asked, so let's count that as the fifth question. What it means is to see our physical reality for what it actually is instead of what our society is subscribed to. So to open your third eye is to more clearly see what actually is going on, how things actually work and flow and are connected. Um, how to open it? There are a lot of ways. I'm going to link down below my video on meditation. If you don't already have a spiritual practice, I recommend, and you, and you want one, you want to start moving towards the, being more psychic, opening your third eye. Meditation is the number one way that I recommend for you to start. It is the foundation of your practice. Just having that space within yourself, creating uh, a space of solace that you can return to when things get crazy is the number one thing I would recommend. So I'll link my video on that and blog post on that below. The sixth question is how do I get in touch with my spiritual being slash soul? Again, I recommend starting with meditation. I'm actually at 100k followers going to be releasing a $9 ebook. Okay, it's only $9 called Intro to Spirituality, a field guide to your path with the divine. So if you are interested in getting, <laughs> shameless plug, in getting started on your path, what is spirituality? I feel called to something bigger and greater than myself, but I don't know where to start, then that's something that you're gonna to wanna to start with. Again, everything I do is non-denominational, all positive love, um, nothing evil, nothing selfish. Everything is done in light. Okay, I'm a light worker. And so yeah, wait for that. It's coming out soon. If you're watching this at a later date where I've already hit 100K subscribers, I'm gonna link it down below. Someone said, how and why did you get into this? I love you so much, I love you too. Um, <laughs> how did I get into sound bowls? Actually, so I've been a spiritual person my whole life. It's just something that I've naturally been called into. I'm an empath, which means that I'm clairsentient. It's one of those sixth or extra senses that naturally comes to me. And like I said, everyone can develop in that realm and become clairsentient, but I just naturally can feel and absorb and work with other people's emotions and therefore energies. So this is just something I've naturally been geared up for and created for. My spiritual journey is something crazy, which maybe I'll make a video at a later date completely about. Um, the closest thing I have to it right now about my story with that is uh, my video I'll put right here about alcohol, why I stopped drinking, because it's very spiritually inclined why, inclined why I stopped drinking. But how I got into sound bowls actually, you know, I've been doing, I had dabbled in like divination, I had dabbled in different types of healing, but I actually for this past Christmas got a sound bowl from my stepmom and I was just completely pulled in and I posted it on TikTok and you guys loved it so I got six more and started really playing with them and um I've worked with them a lot recently with friends with family and I'm really diving into that right now so to answer your question in a really roundabout way I've been into healing and energy work for a while but sound bowls is something a bit new to me um and I know that a lot of you can feel the power and it's i'm just every, everything that i can provide to you everything i can give to you i'm just a channel for it's not me um i'm just set up in a way where i can 
channel these good things to you. Are you part of the occult belief? No, I consider myself largely non-denominational. I don't identify with any one religion. Um, I like a lot of religions. I like a lot of different beliefs. Um, what I was raised in was fundamentalist Christianity. And I've dabbled in all kinds of religions and practices, but I don't consider myself to be of the occult. Um, I've put hashtag witch on a lot of my videos just because it's TikTok which community is really big and I wanted to like get my videos in there, but I don't identify with that, no. What should I do while burning my sage slash things, hopefully other smudging objects, to make its effect more noticeable? Thank you. You can say anything you want, but I would keep everything positive and in present tense, therefore making it an affirmation, speaking things into existence, in the in the present moment so for example if you were space clearing in your house if you were smudging um which is something i recommend everybody does just i'm a really big fan of energy clearing like if you never step into a room and you're just like this shit's whack anything that you want to manifest or bring into your life really quick gonna plug my blog post down here about exactly how to manifest Anything that you want to bring into your life, speak it as if it already exists. This is how you attract it. This is how you use the law of attraction. So for example, if you want your better grades while you're smudging, you could say something like, I excel in my studies. I have a great time doing my homework. My teachers love me. I enjoy studying and I have great grades. So everything is positive and in the present moment, Bringing in those things, speaking them into existence is the first step of manifestation. If you want to learn the other ones, go check out my blog post down here about how exactly how to manifest. Do you do what you do on your TikTok for a living? No, I currently don't have a healing practice, so that, although that's like a dream of mine. I'm actually moving to Denver tomorrow and um, anything can happen, but I am a holistic health coach slash blogger and I actually by trade am a chemical engineer and personal fitness trainer. Two things that I've greatly brought into my brand, Blissful Bohemian. Hey, where do you get your crystals? Also, do you recommend any stores to get your supplies from? I get all of my crystals from local mystic stores, just like with the bowls. I like to feel them out, touch them, see what calls to me and what I connect with. I think that connection is very important, even with inanimate objects like bowls and crystals, even though I don't know if I would say crystals are completely inanimate. I mean, quartz, really quick tangent. People think that I'm crazy sometimes or like a woo-woo hippie when I'm like, yeah, the crystals like do stuff. And they're like, mm, okay, crazy. But I actually worked in microelectronics for a while, working for a defense contracting company that's like one of the biggest in the game. And I personally saw firsthand how involved, especially quartz crystals are, which is amethyst, citrine, smoky quartz, rose quartz, how just integrated quartz crystal is with every single type of technology. Like in your phone, there's tons of actual like quartz crystal, crystal which is um, disilicon oxide, I believe. And we wouldn't be able to have any of the technology that we have today, laptops, the camera I'm recording on right now, my phone, anything without crystals. I'm gonna link down here at my blog post all about crystals and like scientifically and spiritually how significant they are. So if you're interested, go read more on that. And if you're interested in getting into crystals, start with quartz because it's just the foundation for all of it and finally probably the most asked question is what are chakras what are they really supposed to do let me preface this with the fact that science is just now catching up to the things that we have known in the spiritual community for thousands and thousands of years we are just now finding out and being able to measurably observe auras, like auric fields around humans. Chakras are energy centers within the body. There are actually 112 in the human body, but the ones that you most know about are the ones down the midline. There are seven of them. There's the crown, third eye, throat, 
heart, solar plexus, <laughs> a little bit lower is the sacral, and then right at the bottom is the root. And I like to think of them as um, the human body as like a channel, and then the root is kind of like your actual roots, like if you were a tree, and then everything is like up the trunk line, and then your crown is like the leaves at the top. So like you're able to, with your root chakra, like be grounded in reality and then with your crown chakra, float around in the wind and sense the ether. <laughs> and in theory, I'm not gonna say any of this is has been scientifically measured yet because it's still being evaluated, but these are things that I work with all the time, almost every day. So I know them to be valid and not just placebo effect like a lot of you have commented Bless, blessings to all of you, by the way. Each of these energy centers within the body have a certain frequency. Just like I said, every object in our reality has a certain frequency. And when they're out of whack or imbalanced or overworked, we have certain effects on our physical biology and also our mental stability. So for example, when you feel nervous, you ever feel that like pit in your stomach, the solar plexus chakra, like right here above the navel is in charge of feeling secure. So when you feel nervous, you know, don't feel very secure. You can feel that like stone here. Or do you ever feel like you need to say something, but it's like caught in your throat? That's your throat chakra. Do you ever feel like you are feeling a lot of love for somebody and your heart is like exploding? That's your heart chakra um if you if you listen to my third eye ball video on tiktok you might have felt it connect right here you might have felt like a spider was crawling across your forehead or like it was buzzing right here between your eyes so simply put a chakra or the seven main chakras are energy centers in the body in charge of different aspects of your life uh, anything from security creativity um, work capabilities, what you say, if you're telling the truth, um, how you love or hate things that you are aware of and how connected you can be as a crown to others. I hope that answers. I'm gonna go more in depth on that in another video. I just do a video completely on chakras, probably in two weeks, because next week I'm gonna do a little bolt playing for you guys. If you wanna learn more about how to live a more natural and healthy lifestyle, start by watching one of these two videos right here. Thank you for watching this video. If you have further questions, please comment down below and I will try to answer them in a timely manner. Thank you, and if you don't already, follow me on TikTok. Definitely go do that. It's at BlissfulXBohemian. Have a blissful day.